The Vauban Co. was an underground concrete structure originally intended to be a temporary air raid shelter for Adolf Hitler and his guards and servants. It was located behind the large reception hall that was added onto the old Reich Chancellery, in Berlin, Germany, in 1936. The bunker was officially called the Reich Chancellery Air Aid Shelter until 1943, when the complex was expanded with the addition of the F8 Ilde 1 4th Row Bunker, located one level below. On 16 January 1945, Hitler moved into the F8 Ilde 1 4th Row Bunker. He was joined by his senior staff, including Martin Bormann. Later, Eva Braun and Joseph Goebbels moved into the F8 Ilde 1 4th Row Bunker while Magda Goebbels and their six children took residence in the Upper Vorbunker. The Goebbels family lived in the Vorbunker until their deaths on 1 May 1945. In 1933, Adolf Hitler decided to expand the Reich Chancellery, which he considered too small for his needs. On 21 July 1935, Leon Hardball submitted plans for a large reception hall to be built onto the old chancellery. The drawings were unique, because of the large cellar, that led a further one and a half meters down to a bunker which later became known as the Vorbunker. The Vorbunker's roof was 1.6 meters thick, twice as thick as that of the bunker underneath the nearby Air Ministry building. The thick walls of the Vorbunker, supported the weight of the reception hall overhead. It had three entry points, to the north, west, and south. Construction was completed in 1936. It had 12 rooms branching out from a single corridor. The F8 Ilde 1 4th Rubenko was built by the Hotchtiff Company as part of an extensive program of subterranean construction in Berlin. It was finished by 1944 and was connected to the Vorbenka by a stairway set of right angles. The two bunkers could be closed off from each other by a bulkhead and steel door. A permanent guard detail was posted by the steel door. The F8 Ilde 1 4th Rubenko was located about 8.5 meters beneath the garden of the old Reich Chancellery, 120 meters north of the new Reich Chancellery building at Voestra RE6. The F8 Ilde 1 4th Rubenko was located 2.5 meters lower than the Vorbenka, and to the west southwest of it. The accommodations for Hitler were moved to the F8 Ilde 1 4th Rubenka, and by February 1945 it had been decorated with high-quality furniture taken from the Chancellery, along with several framed oil paintings. To carry out the air raid drills, a precise regulation is required for the three office buildings, Wilhelmstory 77, Wilhelmstory 78 and Voestrari 1. The officials and residents of Wilhelmstory 78 and Voestrari 1 can go to the substitute shelters in Wilhelmstory 78 and Voestrari 1. The inhabitants of the Reich Chancellor House, Wilhelmstory 77, will use the shelter under the ballroom. The only residents of Wilhelmstory 77 were Hitler and his bodyguards, adjutants, orderlies and servants. It is unknown if the Vorban Co. was used before January 1945. Hitler transferred his headquarters to the F8 Ilde 1 4th Rubin Kur in Berlin on 16 January 1945, where he remained until the end of April. Thereafter, the Vorban Co. was used by various military officers, and housed men from Hitler's personal bodyguard. In April 1945, as the battle in Berlin raged on, Joseph Goebbels showed his strong support for Hitler, by moving his family into the Vorbunka. He occupied room in the F8 Ilde 1 4th Rubenka which had recently been vacated by Hitler's personal physician, Theodor Morell. Two rooms in the Vorbunka, were used for food supply. Constance Menzieli, Hitler's personal cook slash dietitian, made meals in the kitchen, which was equipped with a refrigerator and a wine store. On the evening of 1 May 1945, Goebbels arranged for an SS dentist, Helmut Kunz, to inject his six children with morphine, so that when they were unconscious, an ampule of cyanide could be crushed in each of their mouths. According to Kunz's later testimony, he gave the children morphine injections, 
but it was Magda Gibbles and SSOBERSTURMBANNFA Tilda one fourth Ludwig Stumpfiger, Hitler's personal doctor, who administered the cyanide.